Whether you're a middle schooler, a corporate exec, or a grandparent who use the internet, think about it. Especially in lockdown, how are students uploading their assignments? Are coworkers and clients relying on email communication more than ever? How are people shopping for clothes or pressure cookers? How are people staying entertained when they can't go out for a movie? The internet makes our lives better and easier, but there are bad guys out there, and unfortunately, it makes things easier for them as well. Throughout the years, I've seen my fair share of cyber attacks, and experts say that 90% of successful attacks begin with a fish. Now, I'm not talking about that kind of phishing. I'm talking about phishing with a PH, which is a cyber crime. A fisher with a PH would use some kind of amazing offer or sometimes even scare tactics to lure you into giving them your usernames, passwords, or even your money. Phishing takes advantage of technology to create a scam. Fake emails, fake IMs, fake websites, fake ads designed to trick you and steal your money or even your usernames and passwords for important accounts. If you think people don't still fall for this in 2020, guess again. Let's go over what a real legitimate email should look like. Imagine this, it's Friday and you're at work. You haven't had any time to spend with your boyfriend or girlfriend this week. Your company had to lay off a bunch of employees due to COVID. You're spending all these extra hours at work. You're finally gonna have that chance to relax and catch that latest Netflix release. But hang on, you get this email that your Netflix account is on hold. Now this email has the Netflix logo on top and it's got a link right to the webpage where you can update your account info. If you were able to tell upon first sight that this email wasn't real, good for you. If you weren't able to, don't feel bad. These emails are designed to look real, that's the point. Usually an email from a company that you have an account with won't start with some sort of uh, generic greeting, right? Like, hi dear, why would Netflix greet you with hello dear? Spam emails frequently have incorrect grammar or spelling, but look at the way they spell center in the word help center. They use the UK version of that spelling and this email is targeted at a US customer. Say the email actually has your name in it, or maybe it has your account number or the last four digits of your credit card number. It must be real, right? Only the real company can verify that information. What you want to do is hover over any links before you click on them. Most browsers will have a way to verify the URL when you hover over it. And if it looks weird or it doesn't look like it matches with what you're hovering over, you don't have to click on it. By the way, this kind of attack that targets you specifically is called a spear phishing attack. An Australian government study in 2015 found that 71% of their subjects fell for the spear phishing attacks as opposed to only 38% of the generic phishing attacks. So it can be quite effective. What are some popular phishing topics during COVID-19 lockdown? Well, COVID-19, of course. Did you know that there is a new kind of CBD oil out there that can cure COVID-19? Yeah. No, of course not. How about this one? This one is actually a phishing attempt through a text message. U.S. Representative Katie Porter shared this COVID-19 scam on Twitter, where she was offered a free iPhone because of COVID. That sounds great, doesn't it? Maybe a little too good to be true? Another popular thing are pet scams. Someone posts photos of cute puppies saying, oh, I've got too many golden retrievers. They ask you to wire them the money, and when you wire them the money, of course, you never hear from them again. People are lonely, or kids are bored, and they want a pet. What about Fortnite? Did you know that Fishers target kids too? Fortnite, like many other games these days, have in-game currency. You can use that in-game currency for in-game upgrades. And Fishers will create fake websites saying that they're giving away Fortnite bucks. Fishing isn't only used to directly steal one person's data at a time. In fact, there are much crazier consequences. Sometimes they're used to get people to click on links and install ransomware. They can spread through entire computer networks and take down entire companies in exchange for a ransom. These attackers have no shame. They'll even attack hospitals. Just in earlier September 2020, a woman in Germany actually died because she had life-threatening conditions and needed emergency treatment. But because the hospital's network was down, she was forced to go to a farther hospital and she didn't make it. A couple weeks later in the US, Universal Health Services, a network with more than 400 hospitals, was taken down by ransomware. Always think twice before clicking on that free iPhone offer or that cure for coronavirus. Second, don't click on links from unsolicited emails. That means if you weren't expecting the email, don't click on the links. An unsolicited email would be something along the lines of your account information needs to be updated or your credit card information needs to be updated. But what I suggest here, hover over the links to make sure that they're real. If you're still not sure, skip the link and go right to the website itself. That means open up your browser and type in the URL manually or look for the company's support number and call them and ask them about the issue. Make sure to look for the number on their actual website and don't call any of the numbers in the email that you are suspicious of. And that's it. It is that simple, but it does take some time to get familiar enough with phishing attacks to be able to identify them within just a few moments. I do highly suggest going to phishing.org because there's a ton of useful information there. They have useful diagrams and real life examples of very realistic phishing emails. And also additional tips on how to protect your computer and your data from the bad guys.